Ethiopia, or Canada and uh, India. And my age is now 64. But I regard myself as only four years old. Oh. There is a reason behind, because uh, also in my book, I said that uh, a person should not die as he was born. He has to leave something behind for the present and future generation. So that's why I say the year I contributed mainly for the mass, not salary, but by my own initiative is four years. Actually, the thing is that, uh, you know, counting a year, like, uh, say, Matusala, whose age is 969, and uh, little remembered, has a little value. And a person has to leave something for the people. Um, uh, the other thing is uh, that uh, um, I think something which is really critical for any one of us is that uh, Many of us who have an inward-looking system, the inward-looking system is doing all goods for yourself, benefiting you yourself, educating your own, uh, own children or family members or relatives, but think of your position and try to get the uh, fame and the grace of your own and have a little for the outside. So inward-looking is the biggest problem for many of us, including me. And I think what is important for us is inward as well as our outward looking, balancing. You know, even in Bible it says, my cup is full and it's overflowing. You have to contribute something for the society. So I'm very happy and I'm so delighted that you came here and to, to, to hear from me. Uh, something about the Gada, and uh, yeah. and look, it says a deeper look into Boranongo culture, and a lady over here is my mom. She is a Gada Moji, and some people say uh, women have no role in Gada. This is deliberately put here. She is a Gada Moji. She has as many roles as the men as well. So. This, though it says a deeper look into Boran Oromo culture, Oromo, Boran is Angafa, and the Gada is real alive in Boran. In the strong uh, hold of Oromo is uh, one of it is Boran. So though it says uh, Boran culture, it encompasses all culture of Oromo, the all worlds, and the all. Uh, remains and the uh, wisdom of Oromos are embedded inside here. So the book talks about the political, ritual, spiritual, social, military, you know, of the past and the now, and the democracy. All of things of the Oromo are included inside here. Look, uh, there are two uh, very uh, uh, powerful issues uh, inside here. In the first place, the writing, I mean, the, the books and the writings are uh, nowhere by the churches and uh, and uh, and uh, and uh, uh, academic, era. academic era. Not only that, even the scholars. They do not appreciate the wisdom and the, the culture and the grace of the people who do not have a liter, uh, written literature. So usually you will be challenged. I was challenged. Where is the source? No, the source, uh, if, unless it's written by just a, 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 a bishop or patriarch or in the court of the, uh, of the church, the scholars do not accept. So think of the Oromo. Think of the uh, hundreds of thousands of uh, uh, traditional people whose history were not written. In book, if it is even not accepted in the modern arena. You get a challenge from where you bring this. Uh, what is your witness? So unless you put, bring these two and pieces together, people cannot learn it. That's one of the uh, issues that made me to write this book. Number two. 
And it, the Oromo story is mostly based on oral uh, uh, memory. But the oral is easily forgotten. It easily uh, you know, varnishes out of the people's brain. Like, for instance, Boran says that the Oromo Gada system was perished nine times. It's not the Gada what was perished. It was the disasters that uh, 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 killed the, uh, the, the wise people. So the story was forgotten, and it was died with them. It's like, no, the library was uh, burned, right? So these pieces, uh, this, this book has been brought to life bringing those things uh, into light in the picture. One, that, the other thing is, the preservance is one thing, retrieving is the other thing, and then sustaining what the future generation learn from us. You know, this Gada thing, this, the, the, the noble issue of Gada is highly treated, political, the military, the social wing, and you have here the Kalu, the spiritual, so what often we, we hear here in, Eth in Ethiopia also, the government should not interfere with the issue of the religion. And the religion people should not interfere with the issue of the government. Like, they have made this distinction long back, my friend. So, Kalu, it deals with, the, with only spiritual part, but there is sometimes interdependence. You know, like, uh, there is a time when Abagada need Kalu, to, to be to be blessed or for to get uh, forgiveness for his transgressions. And then in the Gada, Gada has nothing to do with the religion. It is simply governance. Even here, let me say a little thing. Here in Ethiopia, even the big the the higher authorities, they do not distinguish between what the government and what is the what is a party. Yeah. Yeah. Like Gada is yeah, Gada is a party, no, on the other hand. It's a party, it's a ruling party. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then people are the, on the top. You, if you uh, revert this, like a pyramid, the, the base is the community. The upper one is the, the small parties, the representative, of. representative of the Gada leaders, the Abba Gada or the Kalu. Here, okay, uh, there are many confusion, so to, to shorten the things, yeah. here is an area, for instance. Area is just simply a age set. Area is simply an age set. Yeah. Children born in, one, in the era of one of Bagada are considered to be uh, in the same Gada, uh, Gada age or age set. This has no political role. If me and you, born within the span of 80 years, yeah. we become a year that short. But mind you, in the Gada, there is a power. We'll see the growth. And if you permit me to continue, I can, I can give you even better yeah. illustration. OK, thank you, brother. And over here, uh, for instance, uh, uh, okay, doesn't matter. Look, uh, for, for instance, you, this is a Gada grade. Gada grade and uh, age set is two different things. Some people say Gada class. And it's the same. And now, the biggest confusion is up here you have a Dabale. Dabales are the children of Raba. And then the, the circle, I mean, the, the spiral growth comes up to here, and a person becomes here a bagada. So when somebody becomes a bagada, he has finished his stair. Now, he becomes yuba, like for instance, or guyogoba. He is he, an advisor, he is a basera, he is attorney general, he knows much about the law, but the era is of a uh, of, uh, of, uh, courage also. So this grows. You have very the ballet and then gamme and then uh, gamme didico and then kusa and reaba. 
So in in this era, there are different functions. Here, the bullet, they are you no, know, they are just infants. They are small children. They have no role. And then when it comes to to gamme, uh, gamme didico, still they are very small. Still they are very small. It, when they come to gamme gurdo, listen now, the recruitment for the coming uh, party leaders starts. Recruitment. The recruitment is the, the elections. You elect, but not coming to power, like uh, 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 like Godia. Godia. People are elected and they left up to their prayer, up to their uh, Gada, Gada power, and then get a training. So here they get a recruitment in the in, in Game Gugurdo and then uh, here we have the Kusa. Now number of them have been already elected at this time. In position is known. But they have no right to exercise that position. Look why? Because their party uh, party prayer does not crop up. They are far away. So when they when they when the uh, uh, Gada comes, that means these people gradually grow to the position of a Bagada already elected. You know, six, uh, seven people will be elected, and then one become among that uh, a Bagada, and then there is a Baboku uh, within the year. But when you ask, I'll, I'll come to that detail. It's a bit uh, complicated. So. For, before I leave this area, please do let people should miss uh, mix Gogesa, Gogesa, which is a party. Goran has five Gogesa, five parties, and uh, these uh, grades. There are two different things, like any other part of Ethiopia. This world is not uh, well entertained and not well kept. They are not well administered. There are cut. There are. Uh, High quality uh, cows, bulls, no market, no no market, in, and then do in spread of uh, 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 dry time, people have not much learning or education, not really given to diversify their assets, like you no know, part of it be banked, sold out in the bank it. Part of it used for for investment in the town building houses, some of it for the school. No, these were not uh, well looked into. Boran is not uh, much help it. It's not much help it, and I regretly say that uh, some water, uh, the water sources, the water developments in Boran, like the one from down from. Um, Golbo, and led him to to say to come to to always deloy Avallo and project of billions of bur totally failed. No one knows where that money goes. We went look, and that, there are some sad news, but the people are amazing knowledge of adapting the situation. Yeah. And uh, that is uh, not well uh, uh, treated and not uh, well uh, uh, kept. It's still the, nat the nature uh, made it to survive and come up to this time. In fact, there is something that we cannot bypass, like a population pressure. Yeah, the land, the, the border land has been grabbed uh, you know, by a number of uh, neighboring communities. The land has been excluded and made small. In the carrying capacity of the land is uh, dwindled. This is another problem, and you know this has to find to get a solution. This solution not uh, by war, but it's only to create uh, uh, harmony among the neighbor, neighboring people. It is for advantage of uh, both uh, uh, all community. Yeah, it's for good for the for the Boran, good for Konsa, good for Gary. The present situation is actually very good compared to the past threat because the leadership in Somalia is excellent. 
the leadership in, in Roma is very good. I, the situation is uh, very much uh, improving. There is even a peace, you know. I, just, I, 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 I bold to say, I dare to say that there is a peace, and there is no, no fight. There is understand. There is, there, there is an harmony between Bora and Nguji, the neighbors. They love each other. Gabra, they are living together, and uh, they, 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 they know and they understood that they are brothers and sisters. And we have found that there was, you know. Igniting uh, 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 element, which used to bring not conflict but violence. No conflict is okay. Conflict, conflict there every time, and the conflict uh, doesn't matter. But conflict, yeah, hand in hand. hand in hand. But violence, violence. These all things somehow, perhaps, uh, comes from outside to to the those uh, communities. So, uh, comparatively and uh, relatively, there is a peace and uh, so we need to bear in mind that during those days the population is not big. I mean, if two, five or ten families is actually considered at the, at the clan or tribe. Now, the important, the very critical issue you have raised now, Oromo is said uh, said to be living in the north, and they have their own gada. In the north, also there are the Muslims, also Christians. These people have a binding, a binding uh, power, like for Christian, Christianity, for uh, Muslim, Islam. And these are the binding uh, organs. But Oromo had the Gada. The Oromo had no had the Gada. That Gada was not uh, explained well with it is laws. No, the law of fight. The law of uh, Busa Gonova, rehabilitating the needy. So a kind of crusade, a war started in, in the north. The Muslims having a core in the central focal thing to, to bind them together. And the Christian as well attacked the Oromo and the Oromo Gada. They were expelled from there and they came to Medawalabo. In Medawalabo, they came together and Ali Guracha was the, uh, the lawmaker. The law was uh, uh, reformulated how to, how to, you know, the rule of law, the rule of law was formulated. And then once again, they, 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 they decided to recapture their land because now they have a gada, they have a strong gada laws that bind them together. How this gumi guy was created, uh, the most important, the gumi, the multitude uh, with the maximum power, supreme power, was created because some people became dictators in the Gada system itself. They became dictators and they were, uh, they were, they were not submitting to the rule of the Gada. No respect and uh, no respect, they do not honor, they do not submit to the rule because they were rich, they were wise, some people, and they, they were uh, heroic people, they are very brave. Then Dawegobo, he thought of system of dis disciplining the dictators. The dictators can only be disciplined by social sanction, not economic sanction. Social sanction came into life. Okay, the Gumi said, okay, doesn't matter how much wealth he has, doesn't matter how wise it is, it's not a place of a, a <laughs> the dictators were only ruled by are only ruled by so that social sanction. This social sanction is mean it's not like a punishment by resources or re reparations. It is denying all 
welfare of the community. Like, you know, if somebody becomes dictator and uh, does not uh, uh, obey the rule of the, the, the law of the Gada, is placed, is brought to the, the, the leadership of the, the, the forum of the Gumigayo Assembly. The Gumi make a social sanction on it. This social sanction, how they do? They made them to face uh, uh, to them. He, go, he moves to the east and the people watch him facing their, 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 their face, their eye to the east. A person who looks, uh, who, who, who will be punished in other way, looks to them, mind you. So there is a reason also making him to move to the east and facing themselves to the east is that we need the support of the God when we decide, some, when we decide something on this person. According to the calendar of Boran. According to the calendar of Boran. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then uh, you get the support of the God. I mean, good things all come from where? From the east, according to Boran. Rain comes from the east. Uh, sun rises from the east. And what is the way to decline? Uh, the, the worst, il, 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 il. when even a person dies, they put uh, his head to, uh, toward the west, yeah, gone. When the animal is slaughtered, yeah, it has to be faced that way. So Gumi Gayo is the power to discipline, to evaluate the, the leaders at all levels. But when we come to the, the, for coming to Gumigayo, there are small structures at the, at the grassroots level. There are Ayus, there are Wayus, there are Jallaba. Jallaba and Wayus are the, the messengers uh, uh, and representatives of the Ayu. And then the cases start. Look, cases start from the grassroots level, but the, the principal things like violation of the law, like violation of the cardinal law, is brought to the attention of the Gumi Gayo. How the Gumi functions? Now the thing is, how the Gumi functions? Now the Abagada, who is in power, on his, on, in his uh, era, of, uh, in his era, in the, in the fourth year, he called the Gumi Gayo. In all representative of the Boran, the I use the the Jalab, the Illers, and the Wayus, and the retired Abagadas, and the Abbaseras, all come. So, uh, they discuss, first after blessing the meeting, after blessing the meeting, the meeting is blessed, and then the discipline, the, the mortality of talk, the discipline, how to, how to uh, uh, raise the issues. You can you only talk of the fundamental things, the issues, which are said to be above the village level, above the ayu, above the ya arbora, above ya awato and ya konitu. They discuss on these things. Then uh, the new laws may be uh, enacted, and some other may be deleted. Some uh, law may be deleted. Mm -hmm. Some may be reformulated, you know, seeing the situation of uh, the situation. Now, uh, the, the, the environmental issues, like the, 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 the prerogative of the woman, I'll, I'll discuss this uh, further, mm -hmm. and the, the, the horses and the water wells and what have you all be uh, explained to the people, the, these are the law. So when you discuss on the issues, you talk based on these issues. What are the issues of the communal? What are the issues?